Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. Whoa. 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 No, 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 I'm going to fucking barf. <laughs> How are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody panic. Oh, thank God. Much better. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that looks like bad. <laughs> Casey, first off, uh, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for all your thoughts and prayers last week. We were praying for you. We set up. Yeah, everybody's praying for you who called in. Everybody's super worried. Yeah, I was in the bath. It was probably around the time the podcast was recorded, and I was in the bubbles. And I and I thought, Is somebody praying for me right now. I feel real good. And I got up and and I could walk and I could eat and I felt better. It's called the power of prayer, people. The P of P. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for the bubble bath. It's, I know. It also could be the bubble bath. It could so, be the bubble. It could be, but it was also probably prayers. Mm. <laughs> so good to talk about. And it felt good to be brave again. For sure. And your eyes better. Mm-hmm. Eyes better. Body better. Sound mind. Papa John's. Doing great. Jesse Casey had something called iritis. I was wondering what happened here, mm-hmm. Aya. Yeah, it gives you this pooed eye for like a month, and my eye was all nasty. I, yeah, I've heard of iritis. Hurt. Better now. Look at it. Yeah, it's much better now. Oh, yeah, they're glowing. Betterhelp.com. Yeah, <laughs> yeah betterhelp.com. Use, <laughs> use promo code. Betterhelp, as in this therapy of BetterHelp. <laughs> <laughs> And Grant, hold on. What's going on here? We're trying to, we have oh, more please. people. In. What's going on with the screen on here? I can't look at myself. I have to constantly be looking at Wait, myself what's for the this problem? to work It says, here. would you like uh, to reduce the mouse pointer lag on the oh, TV? Oh, does it have a, a warning on there? Because it's perfectly clear on my end. Sorry, let me come in there. But it's only covering it's William. So on I- William. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I mean, this doesn't work unless if I can look at myself the whole time. You could reduce the lag, though. Yeah. Can <laughs> yeah. you reduce who, me or Grant? Grant. It's yeah, Grant, that. reduce yeah. the lag. Yeah. Speak I'd prefer if you reduced it. <laughs> Whoa. 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 <laughs> no. He's been drinking again. Yeah. He kind of gave a gentleman shrug off screen. <laughs> yeah. You guys couldn't see. <laughs> As he was crashing into the door. <laughs> he sort of collapsed into the doorway. <sighs> well, Jesse, thank you so much for being on the show today. Thanks for having me. It's been, it's <laughs> such a pleasure. We also have uh, our producers in the house today. I don't know. Do you want to get behind the camera for a second? What are we? Th- or no, 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 no. Doing? <laughs> no, yeah. But so nice. So the pressure's on. So Casey, we have to be extra funny mm-hmm. today. I mean, this if <laughs> right right when I texted y'all, y'all need to come. I thought immediately, this is a mistake. Are they going to sit in here? I'm not going to be able to perform. Casey might not. I'm mm-hmm. not going to speak for Casey. He might not be able to perform. Yeah, I'm pretty nervous. I, I didn't Jesse's. know there was industry here. <laughs> yeah, did you know industry was going to be in here today? No. <laughs> Maybe we could switch spots so they're on camera and we're off screen. I prefer. Yeah, that. I would prefer that. <laughs> I'd prefer that. <laughs> yeah. It might, yeah, but but Jesse, thank you so much for uh, being on the show. It was exciting to see you last night on Kill Tony. You brought the trumpet back. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, oh my gosh, it was a pleasure. Yeah, Tony has let me start booking all the different <laughs> acts. So you were the first. You were the first of my booker. Yeah, he gave me that power like a week ago. It's very strange. The it's a lot on my plate, perfect. but timing was perfect. You were going to be in town. You. And you were able to come. Yeah. It was fun. I had a good time. There, uh, there were some good bucket pulls last night. Yeah, Casey, you should have seen the dude. Yeah, that dude. Before you me from seen Spain. Him. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I wasn't there. He was hilarious. What did he say? He looks like he, if he was Spider-Man, Spider-Man, if he got bit by a regular spider. <laughs> <laughs> that one stood out. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> it was stupid as shit. 
but he when he walked out, he scared me at first. Yes. He had a really strong energy. Yeah. But then he killed it. And so I was like, oh, he's he's just smart. Like a slender yeah. man. Smart people scare me. He was me. like mm. tall and long in Spanish. Yes. yes. <laughs> good. I mean, good. <laughs> Not, uh. Yeah. <laughs> Not, uh, like I like, I I like that. I get the chills. Yeah, I, I get the goosebumps. <laughs> and them goose pubes. Yeah, slender what? man's very <laughs> powerful. Yes. We watched some... Uh, documentary the other day two high school girls killed this other girl because slender man was telling them to mm -hmm. but where the slender man recently because i thought that went on a while back yeah i think it was an old story i would watch a lot of old crime stories have you watched slender man that slender would nah, there's no way i'm watching what I'm the slender man his <laughs> major motion picture <laughs> yeah don't watch it yeah don't even think his name yeah. Oh, uh, that's all I can think about right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Too long for comfort. The, was, so the guy was kind of like Slender Man last night. He was really, very long. He was very long. Mm. His eyes were big. Whoa. Eyes were big. Had like a white head, bald head. Oh, he cool. wasn't bald. He literally looked like <laughs> Slender Man. <laughs> you couldn't funny. really. Yeah, his face was kind of blurred out. Yeah. yeah. He couldn't quite focus on him. Yeah. yeah. That's always terrifying. Yeah, it was rough, but whatever. That's funny. Yeah, it was hilarious. <laughs> Gosh, and we were, Casey, you didn't know that, but yeah, we were doing the Kill Tony in this little studio during the pandemic, and then there were the constant threats of riots. and Yeah, not because of our show, just... Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. people were like picketing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <it> was, <laughs> People were picketing. Uh, there's Slender Man. You know, it's funny when we were recording and you could hear the like people marching in the street right outside the studio. That was crazy. Yeah, people had bullhorns. It was marchers. Like anti-COVID was... marching? No, but... It was what? Oh, it was different a mix. Riots. Yeah. Oh, okay. Anti-COVID marches sound fun. Yeah, anti-COVID marches. We're, actually, there's about to start being some in Austin because they're shutting everything down again. What are you talking about? Yeah. You didn't no, hear not. that on the news today? No. They're shutting everything down again. Me and William are leading some protests against some particularly vulnerable politicians. Yep. Yeah, they're shutting everything down on Friday. So, oh, in Austin, I'm I'm leaving tomorrow, so that's I don't the really care. The whole country. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <It's nationwide. laughs> oh, no, well, I'm I'm leaving the country tomorrow, so it doesn't really bother me. <laughs> Where are you going? Can't come back. I'm gonna go to Ireland. <laughs> yeah, you might not be able to come back. Are you prepared to live in Ireland the rest of your life? <laughs> yeah, I think I want to just like get big on the comedy scene there. That'd be cool. Yeah, be badass. Do you have an Irish accent? Well, I do. I do. <laughs> there it is. And, there, and there's the chills again. <laughs> <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> so scary. <laughs> yeah, I would do that. What is this? Is this Ireland? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that what Ireland? <laughs> they, like, they smoke the ganja there. <laughs> Here we go. Here's Ireland. Um, hmm. Oh, there's Ireland. Boring. <laughs> what a snooze. Yeah, I like Ooh. that other picture better. Yeah, I like the riot. Yeah, that's more exciting. Back oh, yeah. to the riot. Everybody blazed up on some big brick weed. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. Maybe some PMA. I've got, I'm back on my arrowit.org bullshit <laughs> reading the fucking trip reports. Erica can, I, that's all I've been reading the past two weeks is the trip disasters on these <laughs> tryptamines people take. Oh my God. I love the Benadryl ones, the DPH on Arrowhead. That is such a good one. I'll look DPH oh, so up good. later today. <laughs> I have no idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Arrowhead.org, I think it was popular in the early 2000s, and people would write their trip reports on the different drugs on every single chemical. Uh -huh. and, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, there's some really funny stories of people taking, like, detura seeds and all kinds of weird, like... Uh, Belladonna, yeah. that's another uh -huh. plant one. Yeah, ones that give you basically delirium instead of a high like lsd it would give you delirium where you like don't understand what's happening for like 48 hours those are yeah, great a one. couple of days everybody yeah. common theme is people are smoking phantom cigarettes <laughs> <laughs> they just disappear yeah people are seeing dead people god so fun i'm bow so i maybe i need to stop because i'm having these horrible nightmares again
How many times did I scream in my sleep last night? Twice. Twice I screamed in my sleep last night. That's not good. What does it sound like? Oh. (laughs) It's not good. It happened. (laughs) It happened twice last night, and I can't even remember what the dreams were. Luckily, (laughs) they were obviously scaring the shit out of me. Luckily, I don't remember them. Maybe you're doing the scaring in the dream. I could be. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it sounded yeah. like you were the ghost. Yeah, yeah. It does always sound like the ghost. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm scaring people. Go yeah, here. That, that's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> Scary. Yeah, and then Erica can't wake me up. And... He likes it there, I think. Yeah, I like it in the dream <laughs> world. I'm like, wait, he won't wake up. I feel, in there. I feel better when I'm in the dream world. <laughs> so please don't wake me up next time. No, do. It starts scaring me. Well, what if you weren't around? Am I just never going to wake up from that bad dream? Probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Could be permanent. Never Could be a permanent sleep alone. bad dream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Does that happen to people? <laughs> Freddy Krueger. Coma? Yeah, Freddy Krueger. He happened to a lot of his people. A lot just of his people. stuck in the dream world. This is a scary episode. It has gone quite haunting quite quick. Slenderman. <laughs> Slenderman. <laughs> Slenderman. <laughs> Slenderman. And Steve Slenderman. <laughs> Steve Slenderman. That was the guy last night. <laughs> yeah, that was his name. But yeah, PMA, that was a fun one to read about. People think they're taking ecstasy tablets, and then they all think they're having heart attacks, and they have to go to the hospital, and that one person's temperature was 111. That's not true, is it? That seems too hot. That's too high. Yeah, they didn't live through 111. No. Human body can't go over what? 107. Yeah, 107. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> for 107 you know that <laughs> yeah I mean 111 it's like I'm reading this it's like can I believe anything else in this trip report if right off the bat you're saying you're 111 I'm not gonna believe anything else you're saying fake but I keep reading it but you live and you learn yeah hopefully Gary. yeah hopefully. he might have taken it again could have taken ecstasy Taking the ecstasy tablets again. I only did that one time, and I ended up with my buddy Kyle Burtman in Denver in his little art, communal art space he was living in, and he had horrible body odor, and we were just <laughs> sitting in his hot-ass little apart, windowless apartment watching 90s techno videos. <laughs> I was like, ecstasy isn't really that fun. I don't know. Maybe if I was in Didn't a different environment. Good, Not really. I was like, when I would do it, people would be like, oh, it's so good. And I'm like, yeah, it's ecstasy. And yeah. No, this shit is like really good, and I'm like, yeah, it's ecstasy. <laughs> like, yeah. it's in the name. Yeah, it should make you feel good though, no matter where you are. But yeah. maybe you, you maybe had the I h- took heart else. attack shit. Yeah, he immediately threw up. Probably ten yeah, minutes into taking it, and it really. scared me. <laughs> it's like, fuck. Now I'm. This is happening to me now. You should try it again. Get back. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try again. Do it on the <laughs> podcast. Maybe next week. Grant, could you find some? Some ecstasy? Like, yeah. Not Molly. <laughs> or some 90s not music Molly. videos. Not Molly. We want tabs. We want. Yeah, we want tabs. We want, we want, we double, want stacks. tabs. We want double stacks. <laughs> we want little colorful pills with little the, characters on them. Yeah, Grit. Yeah, Batmans. Yeah. We want tabs. We want Batmans. We want Mitsubishis. We <laughs> want uh, Pokemon. Yeah. Naked ladies. Get some Mitsubishis for sure. Actually, no, don't get I'm the I'm trying Mitsubishi to take notes. Too, Can you girl. slow down? Blue Too naked fast. ladies. Blue naked ladies. Yellow Maseratis. Bare naked ladies. Bare naked ladies. Silver snakes. Right, it's bent. Yeah, we want the band in here. When we're rolling tits. Yeah. And they can play that Brian Wilson song. We love that song. <laughs> we love that. It. How's it go? We need silver chair in here. Brian Wilson. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I do a good, uh, I watched Capote last night. Have I ever done my Truman Capote impression? For no. You? It's really good. Do you know who that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A lot of people ask me, they say Truman. They say, Truman, what's the largest penis you've ever seen on a human being? <laughs> and I say, I can't tell you what the largest penis is, but the biggest dick I've ever seen is Clark Gable. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was really good. <laughs> That's great. I like to laugh at the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tongue's always buried in his mouth. <laughs> That's good. Pretty scary. Uh, it's like he's here with us. I know what else. <laughs> he could be. I mean, didn't Philip Seymour Hoffman, when did he die in New York? 2011, 2012. Yeah. Sad. 
Super sad. There's always that picture going around the internet where he's passed out on an airplane, and I always thought, what if he's just asleep? <laughs> this is kind of mean. A it's like, oh, he's passed out on drugs. It's like, maybe he's just asleep on an airplane. Yeah, early always flight. offended me. Yeah, maybe it was an early flight or something. I mean, you, people fall asleep on those things. The tabloids, man. You know they come after you. They have before. I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it. He said something about my hair plugs. I got that surgery a couple years ago, and it didn't take. And But there was a time where I had a bunch of hair, and everybody's like, oh, look at these pictures side by side. <laughs> <laughs> and it looked, I did look totally different. But. Yeah. <clears throat> I looked so different without my hair. Do you? What is that, a wig you have on right now? No, no, I got the plugs. Oh, oh. Yeah, but. Her stuck. Before, it, yeah. I mean, it looked similar to you, but. Did it? Yeah, it's worse for women, I think. Yeah, but you might have could have pulled it off if your hair looked like mine, <laughs> no. you think? No, I wouldn't have never made it this far in comedy without you... the hair plugs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think it's a good idea. Everyone should get them. Yeah. yeah. You can never have too much hair. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I'm trying to move my hairline down. Like yeah. eyebrow <laughs> level. <laughs> kind of makes you do a double take. What the hell? <laughs> Where's it starting at? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's it start? Where's it start? <laughs> it's all red. It's very like calloused. It doesn't look very natural. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it hurts. Dang. I almost just fell asleep thinking about how boring it's been without the NFL. Yeah, it's been horribly boring. I mean, I'm a notoriously a uh giant Pittsburgh Steelers fan, so it's been really sad not being able to watch them. Yeah, and for a guy like me, let's just say my favorite team's the Miami Dolphins. Oh, really? Dan Marino, I think, was a really good quarterback for y'all. He was, too. Zach Thomas, great linebacker. If there's one thing I love about football, it's watching it with my friends. Yeah, I love, I mean, get a group of friends together, get some stuff on the crock pot, maybe some red beans and rice. Mm. You're having a really good Sunday. Couple little smokies. Uh-oh, crock pot not big enough. Better put them in the bathtub. Put them in the bathtub if you're adding little smokies to uh, your red beans and rice recipe for sure. Um, but yeah, DraftKings is uh, an official sports betting partner of the NFL is giving you a can't miss offer for week one. And week one is almost upon us. By the time this episode comes out, week one's going to be quite literally probably the next day or right around the corner. It's going to be right around the corner. I mean, new customers can get $200 in bonus bets instantly when you bet just 5 bucks on any NFL game, and that's Dolphins or Pittsburgh. Let's hope for that head-to-head -head matchup we've been looking for since the Super Bowls of old. Yeah, we'll see. All customers can snag two new offers every single game this September. So download the app and see what you get. Ooh, and I tell you this, you better download now. And if I was you, I'd use code WMS to sign up. I mean, you have to. If you sign up, you have to use code WMS. I mean, that's the only way it's really going to work. I mean, new customers could take home $200 in bonus bets instantly just for betting five bucks. Big ratio. Thank you. Yeah, big ratio, big betting ratio. Mm -hmm. That's a nice payday. Yeah, I mean, that's a nice payday. This is kind of insider talk for sports bettors like we are. But mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, you want, yeah, you want the payoff. I mean, think about it. Uh, that's code WMS, only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. The crown is yours. Woo. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY. That's 467-369. And if you happen to be a problem gambler in Connecticut, you have help available, okay? Call 888-789-7777. That's four sevens at the end. Or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort, KS, 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction, void in Ontario, cdkng.c. Oh, slash football for eligibility terms and responsible gaming resources. Bonus bets expire seven days after issuance. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. But that's it. Y'all heard it. It's on us. DraftKings. Use code WMS when you download DraftKings app. Thank you. Thank you. Happy football. Bye. <laughs> yeah, some guy came in the outdoor store one time, and he was a shorter guy, and I looked at him, and he had the hair plugs, and it was like this horrible job, and it just made me feel sorry for him, kind of. 
Because I think sometimes they can look good, or so, I guess. I don't know. But this guy, I don't know, something. And I refused to sell him the paracord. What's that? People would come in and buy paracord. No, I got that, but uh, <laughs> what is a paracord? A paracord? It was like, a, like a guitar? No, it was like a... a st- like, like a A, a paracord. <laughs> yeah, a paracord. It's what you play on a guitar. No, it was like a... Uh, a string it came in different it was like a very like a very uh it was sure. this you would use it to Is tie it even things a you were you refused <laughs> to let him buy it <laughs> yeah it yeah yes <laughs> yeah. okay well you got to draw a line somewhere yeah you know? yep you do yeah and he had no hairline at all Mm-mm. so he wasn't getting the, yeah there's paracord nothing people make different people make stuff people if they have a knife they do it around oh, the knife i know that yeah, pure record. I know. Them. I know more. You know, sometimes I know more than I think I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's called pure record. We would have a machine that got real hot, and you would. You, that's how you cut the pure record. Do you miss it? <laughs> yeah, I do miss working at Outdoors Incorporated. Yeah, they ended up firing my ass. Ugh, they're, you're laughing now, though, huh? He was robbing the clock. He would clock in an hour early and go upstairs and watch TV. Much the price is right, and then they fucking Lawrence figured out because <laughs> I had an extra seven hours or what five hours on the clock every year, and then they did me to the warehouse and where you'd have to put shit in boxes and take stuff out of boxes and put stickers on stuff, and Ugh. they beat it out of you. Yeah, they made me quit. Yeah. Weren't you on the yeah. local news because of that job? Yeah, I set the place on fire and <laughs> the warehouse. Classic William. <laughs> He'd be doing that. Lawrence was stuck in the building. <laughs> he couldn't get out. Um, I mean, that's on them if they don't know your history. Yeah, no shit fire. that's on them. Yeah, I know. No shit I'm that's saying. on them. They have so much cardboard in there. They relegate me to the fucking warehouse. They yeah. should know I'm going to pull that shit on them. <laughs> they know you're a live wire. Yeah. They knew what they were getting into. They knew what they were getting into, and they didn't stop. And I didn't stop. You're never going to stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, people are people are like people were crazy last night. I see you. They were yelling out at William. Are you gonna stop? <laughs> like from the audience. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what the fuck do you want me? To, what do you want me to say? They just I'm want you to be stop? like one of those dolls with the string on it. Yeah, it's like, what do you want? <laughs> what I'm never gonna stop. It's like I don't even fucking. I don't know. People need to stop doing that. Yeah. They need to stop. Yeah, they need to stop. I don't need to stop. <laughs> they, yeah. They yeah. need to stop. You're never going to stop. Yeah, yeah. I'm never yeah, going to stop. Gonna so stop. they need yeah. to stop. <laughs> they, they, I'm not going to stop. <laughs> they might never stop too. They though. might never, ever, but that's not going to work because somebody needs to stop <laughs> eventually. Somebody has to stop eventually, but it's it might be me. No, I'd feel like you'll never stop. Yeah, I might not, but it's got it. Somebody, one of the parties has to stop at one point. Or there's going to be a break. Or you won't even start again. Yeah, I might. If I stop, I wouldn't start again. No, yeah. No, you're done when you stop. I'm finished for good if I stop. I'm never starting again. Maybe that's a better phrase. I'm never starting again. You should never do that next time. Yeah, I'm never going to start. (laughs) Then you just don't. (laughs) The set never goes anywhere. (laughs) I never start the the joke. (laughs) (laughs) And everyone's just kind of like, all right, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is- <laughs> That's when I start losing it. You do. I never go start, and then you wait the sixty seconds. <laughs> Maybe I do need In to silence. do that. He never started. <laughs> yeah, he never started. This the boy time. who never started. <gasps> That sounds like a oh. children's book. <laughs> yeah, a really <laughs> depressing one. <laughs> he never started this time. <laughs> <laughs> We were at the. We, there was a good book. We got a uh, went to the book, Barnes and Nobles yesterday. Ooh, smart guy! <laughs> no, no, no. We had an Oppenheimer in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, to get a gift for my baby niece. Um, and yeah, I got some children's books, and yeah, Barnes and Nobles booksellers. And you, did you read them first? There was one. What was the picture? Hold on. There was a fun. Bye bye binary. Yeah, no there was way. one. I got him. Bye bye binary. <laughs> uh... Wait, for the baby? <laughs> yeah, for the binary baby. baby. It was a baby's binary baby. <laughs> bye bye binary. 
binary baby. <laughs> he was like, kids don't play. <laughs> cool. He's got a mohawk. Yeah. Too. Or then you'll see that at all. They oh, there it is. Which is good. I have obviously nothing against that, but it's like, oh, kids don't don't get your kids uh, one, blue or pink. Why does the baby it's another look so, color? Looks so demented. He looks so twisted. Hey, don't Mohawk. label that. Baby. I'm sorry. Yeah, they look twisted. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they look totally twisted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> And your um, one-year-old niece is into that kind of stuff. Can you even call her a niece? No. We don't know what to call her yet. <laughs> call it them. Yeah, them. Because it almost sounds a little... Sounds like uh, an unhuman. Yeah, but... You gotta be careful. Yeah. Cut this part out, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're ready to smash gender and norms. I'm that baby's ready to smash. <laughs> <That's gross. laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem like a very good. So you got that one for them? Yes, that and then a King of England, the second golden book or whatever. The little golden book, King Charles. Yeah, they had a King Charles the third golden book. Oh, a male king. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last year we got her Martin Luther King golden book. Lots of kings. Oh, okay. Yeah, Martin Luther King. How old is the King niece? Charles? One. She's one. turning one tomorrow. Oh, she's, she's at that special age. She's, she's that into age. that. Sort she's of really yes. figuring herself out right <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> Every child goes through a big King Charles phase. Yeah. Yes, they're sort of confused with the monarchy and where they sit in the socio political system. Yes, yeah. we're just trying to help her figure it out. Oh, you guys are good. Yeah, I mean, we love we love King Charles the Third. We think he's a pretty good, pretty good king. Oh yeah, there it is. Hey, buddy. So cute. Handsome as ever. <laughs> Looking like a thumb. <laughs> Looking, like a thumb. <laughs> Looking like a thumb, my guy. <laughs> what do you call that wand he's got? A sep- is that a scepter? Scepter. I think so. I'd like one of those. It's pretty yeah, it'd fancy. It'd be cool it's to have a scepter. Like a diamond on top? Mm-hmm. It's like a status symbol. I think that's what I had when I was scaring the people in my dreams last night. I think I was <laughs> sceptered <had> up. <laughs> I was sceptered up last night. Maybe you were King Charles the Third in your dream. And I was just yelling at the peasants, and then Erica wakes me up. Oh, my gosh. Hold on a second. Look <gasps> oh, look Uh-oh. at that little woman. Pass it on. Come here, baby. Oh, my gosh. That's your weep, friend. Weep, 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 weep. That's your friend. Going down the line, buddy. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> That's it's your... so cute. So cute. That's your friend. She heard about King Charles. Her head start perking up. Just kiss each other. Oh, her tail's wagging. Oh, and then she rather does kissing. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, she has something to say. <laughs> yeah. What do you have to say over to you? What is it? <gasps> Speak. Yeah, just say something. Trust, <laughs> Trust us. Just say something. Speak. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Whoa. I heard that. <laughs> that was scary. You guys heard that too, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I heard it again. I, heard, I also heard that. <laughs> okay, Grant, we have a problem. Grant, she's got a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Security. <laughs> Grant, can you get in here, please? <laughs> you want to say hello at all? Oh, yeah, I thought you were. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> And then she does have hair down by her giny area, and I think we need to cut it. I think we need to trim it. I like she's all natural. I know. You're trying I to wax your dog, sicko. <laughs> <laughs> she's a little too hairy. Just the urine gets on. Maybe you get like a, a landing strip. Oh, yeah, landing strip. What is that, <laughs> like a rectangle? I, no. I think so. I actually am not quite sure. I think that's a straight down. What's straight down? To the... The landing strip? Straight down yeah. to the people. Like rectangular? <laughs> no. Yeah, rectangle. Yeah, like a rectangle. Like the size of, of a pencil. I mean, yes. people go crazy. You could shave it into like a dollar sign. Oh or like, uh, I don't know. It's your dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of the perks of being an owner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll figure out what she wants. We'll figure it out. Is she going to get bigger? She can be that small forever. Maybe a little bigger than this, but I don't think much after this. You're so cute. Oh, she too funny. It. Yeah, we don't know. She got into a mercury uh, 
thing in the thermostat or thermostat, the thing, and she thermometer. lapped up a thing, yeah, thermometer, mercury. and she ate a bunch of mercury, so they think she is going to be that small. Because normally they get actually a lot bigger the breed <laughs> that she is. Isn't that how, like, superheroes start? Pretty much. Incredible Hulk. What do you think her power would be? Being really small. <laughs> She's just really <laughs> small. It worked. <laughs> She's just really small, and then she kisses people. But yeah, she drank a bunch of mercury. Was that a couple nights ago? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's so scary. You take it to the ER. Yeah, she's fine. Blood work looked good. Yeah, blood work came back okay. Um, her big teeth might not ever come in. Whoa. Yeah, she might have small teeth the rest of her life is one of the side effects. Where's her tag? Her dad? Her um, tag. Um, oh, oh. Where's her dad? <laughs> where's, her, uh, fucking, uh, where's her fucking pants at? Where, where's her, do you know them? <laughs> yeah, I need to. Uh, well, I told, I w been, we were supposed to get one yesterday, and he was like being weird about it. And I was like, let's make, make, make her a tag. And he's like, mm, I don't know. You should get matching ones. Yeah. And you wear one too. And it has mm. her phone number on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for being on the show today. Um, yeah, no, maybe it could be cool getting the tags. Yeah, we were in the Petco yesterday, wasn't it Petco? Mm -hmm. And I just got this weird, this heebie-jeebie kind of feeling, and I was like, get me out of this place. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm, I couldn't it put like my, we all know what you're I talking couldn't put my finger on it. <laughs> I just had to get out of there. Uh, she didn't like it. My dog loves Petco. Oh, she didn't. She's not allowed in Petco. She can't go in because they'll take her from us. <laughs> what are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> they'll take her from us. She would she... like to play in the aisles with all the toys uh -huh. and treats. I know she would. Maybe when she looks a little different, but she can't now. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll take <laughs> her like CPS or like what? Like, like they yeah, want we're not supposed to have her. Right oh, okay, <laughs> they're gonna be like that dog looks like it just drank a bunch of mercury. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're coming with me. They put you in that dog jail in there. With the glass door, like Hannibal Lecter. So scary. With all the pieces of plastic that the dogs <laughs> chew on. That's what I was thinking when I saw that. That can be healthy for dogs. Put the dogs eating all the, the plastic. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Petco. Mm. It's not where this pet goes. Eventually. No. Well, you said she's not allowed. Why was it scaring you? What were you feeling like when you got in there and it gave you the GB? It's like I immediately walk in there, look to the right. There's a bunch of fish. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Look to the left, a bunch of toys and some cash registers. And it goes back a far ways. And I don't know. It was just too much. I don't, I've never liked them. What about PetSmart? You ever give that a try? It's completely different. Yeah. <laughs> fish are on the left and the registers are on the right. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Maybe I should try that. It could be something to do with the physical layout of it, but we'll figure it out. She needs a segment on your podcast. I know. I wonder what she'd want to talk about. The news. Yeah, maybe just something with the news and then her eye. Is she, are you crying? Oh, she is. Are you crying. crying? Grant, zoom in on her crying. <laughs> are you crying now? Look at those dogs. Those are, are bad crying? dogs. Oh. <laughs> Jail for life. Are you crying? Oh, it's just me. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> just me in the dark. You get to talk to her now. Hey, you can trust us. You're not at PetSmart anymore. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. It's, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. She's like, hey. Yeah, she was trying to figure it out. Do you dress her up in clothes? <laughs> yes. Nice. She's going to be a pumpkin for Halloween. Aww. Yeah, we got a, a pumpkin in Hawaiian dress. Nick and Fanny, y'all are seeing this correctly. I do end up drinking way too many beverages on this thing. Yeah, he got a seltzer problem. I have a serious <laughs> seltzer like a problem. Oh, yeah. Seltzer. I can't stop drinking. I've drank probably seven or eight last night. Dang. Is it bad for you? Are the bubbles bad for you? <laughs> yeah, you're probably just full of air right now. Full of hot air you right float now. away. I can't remember going to Secret Show and I would talk to you and you would just have like a a litter of empty, like <laughs> nine empty seltzers of those Topo Chicos. Pound and seltzer. I know. I you never throw one away when you're done? 
No, I like just to keep them out on the stuff. <laughs> so everybody can see. It's like when people drink a lot at comedy shows and their table has like nine Bud Lights. You're like, oh, y'all are the fucking coolest. Yeah. Get a bucket. <laughs> yeah, I like to keep it. It's not my fucking problem. After I drink them, it's not my problem at mm-hmm. these places. I mean, I'm not cleaning up after myself. I get it. Wow. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, Austin has changed me a little bit. Yeah. You didn't realize that yet? You got a dog now. You have a You're dog now. Different. <laughs> pounding Celsius. Yeah, pounding seltzers, going over to Grant's house a bunch. We went over there the other night. That was sweet of you, Grant. <laughs> it was nice for you guys to come over. I know. We had never met your daughters before, your wife. Yeah, it was quite lovely. I wish that... You know, Casey hadn't died, so he would be able to make it. And unfortunately, I was being prayed for in a bubble bath around that time. <laughs> I was in a bubble bath for 72 hours. Jeez. I had Did little, you get pruny at all? Yeah, little Bill's disease. Yeah, it was very Little small. Bill's disease? <laughs> <laughs> you little, drank in the bathroom? <laughs> yeah, little <laughs> Bill's disorder. <laughs> I became the size of a little boy, and my girlfriend had to talk me out of it. She had to slowly, <laughs> like, talk me back to the age of a man. Took 72 hours, probably. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I started really small. It's a Benjamin Buttons thing, but so you slowly up. grew in the bathtub, uh, feeling a little better, babe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Want to pass her back? No, Here, yeah, again. she. No, it's fine. Okay, huh? she's fine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, no, I she's would. bothering. No, I would. I would take she's her home just with me. Bothering. If you want. <laughs> okay, here, Casey. You mind passing her around? Pass. Pass the puppy. You should yeah. play music. You can for give her a kiss if you want. <laughs> All right. One kiss coming up. That was pretty. A lot yeah. of people ask me, they say Truman. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kiss you first. Yeah, that's your buddy. Oh, she gave me a kiss on the so lips. She's so sweet. She does kiss in people's Thank lips. <laughs> so she sweet. It. Very polite, too. You have her in dog training? She going to like etiquette classes? Yeah, we are. We this is a rare week we are with her. She's out of town, uh, eight weeks, and then we get her for one week. She touring? <laughs> yeah. No, it's just this really hardcore like dog <laughs> training <laughs> thing. Oh wow, it's a boarding school. She's really well behaved. So you're getting your money's she worth. She hardly knows us. Yeah, she doesn't even know. She likes her teachers better than us now because she's wearing the teachers all the time. Oh, yeah. that's rough. <laughs> yeah, it is rough. Yeah. She's around her teachers all the time. She's not around her mom and her papa. She's running around with a weird crowd, we think. I mean, look at her. Making friends. Making friends, so. You said she came home with an ear piercing? Yes. Yeah. Just one? Uh-huh. That's even worse than two for some reason. Yeah. I know. Yeah. She had lipstick on. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. She had her landing strip. Yeah, we need to think about... <laughs> We need to think about something with that. Why? I think you should think about that less. <laughs> really? <laughs> Just what kind of landing strip she can have. <laughs> Maybe someday. You should get her, uh, what are they, a Merkin. What's that? A Merkin, I think, is like a toupee for your vagina. <laughs> yeah, for your pubes. Yeah. Is that a real thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. What is it? I'm looking to see yeah, what I know. picture looks I was like, on. Grant, go ahead. Let's yeah, that Grant, up. can you do that <laughs> if possible? <laughs> okay, good. So what is that for? Yeah, um, it's, it's for so your... Uh, like if you can't grow pubes, you can, <laughs> yeah. uh, I guess. So some people don't have pubes. <laughs> some people don't have pubes. And they can get the Merkin? Yeah, yeah. And then it <laughs> makes it look like they have pubes. That also looks Could like. Can you imagine you, having sex though with someone and then it falls off and you're like, those aren't even real? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I trusted right. you. Yeah. <laughs> right. I said you had great natural pubes. <laughs> right. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you could put that on your chin or something. You could. This could be, maybe we could make, maybe I can do the love for locks thing, but it's just the beard for pubes. Maybe there's a beard new thing. <laughs> Beard for pubes dot org. Beard for, <laughs> yeah, beards for pubes. <laughs> you should cut a little of your beard hair though, and get make her a little uh, beard. Yeah, a little beard. Oh my Uh-oh. gosh, she would be just about the sweetest thing with a little beard. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, and now she's sleepy. Getting a little bit sleepy. I see. She's getting very sleepy over there. Oh. Well, here she goes. Now she's hey. deeping. 
<laughs> Wake up. <laughs> no, leave her. Wake up. Oh, it's Can't already asleep in here. <laughs> oh, beersforpubes.com. Oh, my God. Click the link, Grant. Click the link. <laughs> I want to see the domain. Click that <laughs> I just link. made that for her. Beersforpubes.com. Well, now we know. Oh, it's wonderful. You could do something with that. Casey, I'm trying to think if I watched any horrible videos this week. A couple gang things, a couple gang shootings. I've been doing this thing. Maybe that's what's giving me all the nightmares. I've been watching these bad videos on the internet. Oh. I've been watching like snuff films and like people being eaten by sharks a lot. Oh, yeah. A lot I of heard animals of that video. eating people. I don't watch that stuff. Mm -mm. Trying to stay pure. God, we watched some drunk guy in China cl climb into a, a lion's cage. Why are people doing that? <laughs> but I don't think the lion messed with him. Because he was over there yelling at him. Or, I don't know. He was yelling at the lion? Yeah, I think no, the lion was scared of him. Yeah, I think he was too drunk and stinky, and the lion didn't like it. Yeah, he was probably too stinky. Yeah. <laughs> We've all been there. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there like a stinky day, and the lion comes out of nowhere. It's <laughs> like, fuck you. A stinky day in the lion's den. Yeah. <laughs> Auto yeah. Autobiography. <laughs> Stinky day in the lion's den. A tale of triumph and terror on the campaign trail. Ooh. <laughs> By Truman Ooh. Capote. Scary. By Truman Capote. <laughs> so scary. Yeah, I've seen a couple video of Chinese men being eaten by lions. There's a couple of them. <laughs> yeah. You guys <laughs> be watching reason. that stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's going to rot your brain. Also, Chinese factory workers getting caught in the machines that roll stuff up. I could help you, though. I think what you have to do is, after one of those videos... Watch a nice one? You have to watch one episode of Friends. Oh, cool. Oh! I've never seen Friends. Perfect, yeah. Is it a good one? <laughs> you start from the beginning. Because, okay. yeah, then you'll just you'll have an infinite supply of um, content to balance out the sick, sick shit you're watching. Probably one of the streaming servers. We just watched some insane movie, Bo is Afraid. Oh, I want to see that. Yeah, the Ari Aster. Did you see that? Yeah. The guy what did, did you uh, think about it? Hereditary. It was three hours. Yeah, I really liked it, but I thought it was probably 20 minutes too long, probably. 20? Maybe 30. I didn't like the last scene, but I thought the theater scene in the woods was really good. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was cool. So what happened? The mom was just bad. Oh, wait, I haven't heard. I haven't yeah. seen it. Okay, okay. So we should. Well, yeah, I can I was leave confused. the room. I was <laughs> confused. I was, yeah, if you want to just leave the room yeah, you and we talk can. about it. Okay. And then I'll be right back. Some of it's really funny. Yeah, no, I thought so. I thought so. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, she's actually leaving. Grant, why did I almost that. phase out when she passed the camera? No, I'm kidding. I don't even remember what happened. I thought you were kidding. I didn't want to spoil it. Committed to the bit. No, <laughs> yeah. I thought we were going to bed. <laughs> no, I don't even really remember what happened at the very end. I don't quite recall. I say either. skip it. I Erica say stream says, it. <laughs> yeah, streaming what it could be say? good. Skip it, stream, stream it. it for four ninety nine. Bop it. Yes. Bop it. Bop it. Budget. Stream it. Push it. Stream, stream it. it. Yeah, that was something else. And there the line. A sticky day in the lion's den. A tough day in the same tank. <laughs> How Thank is you. this? Does stuff already exist? <laughs> yes. it's like crazy. Apparently it was already a buck. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> That's where I get most of my ideas from. Yeah, I rip them off various authors. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a smart guy over here too. <laughs> McCarthy. Cormac. Yeah. Yeah. Rest Williams in peace. Favorite. He, he did. Passed. Yeah, he died. Mm. Just the, not long ago. Oh. I started reading my favorite movies book, The Double. Yeah. Enemy is the movie. Did y'all ever see Enemy? Jake With Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. And he's a spider. Oh, it's wonderful. No spoilers. Spo I'll leave if <laughs> He's a spider. Yeah, he's a spider. <laughs> oh, I've seen Spider-Man. <laughs> Yeah, and you're gonna love this. Yeah, you'll love it. Okay, okay. Yeah, but I started reading it, and then I stopped and started reading the Arrowhead again. I don't think I'll ever be able to read a book again. Yeah, it's hard to compete with trip reports. Those are pretty compelling. <laughs> it really is. I don't think I'll ever read anything else again. And I was thinking about it. Is it kind of like I'm reading a book, even if it's off my phone? Does it count like in my brain as reading? It must, right? I just feel weird. Like I, don't, it's not the same as reading a book, though, is it? Yeah, for some reason, when I read a book, it makes me feel really smart. Oh, yeah. My brain's yeah. like, hey, it's like my brain's riding a bicycle. Yeah, like, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Look at me. Yeah. But I don't think these trip reports are the same thing. Maybe. Did you ever read what I sent you, that guy? I don't think I read it. Well, don't that. read it. The LSD guy, right? Yeah, don't yeah. read it. 
Some guy who tortured somebody when they were tripping real hard. I hate that stuff. Yeah, don't read it. We don't like stuff like that. Yeah, don't read it. You're oh, going to start yeah. getting nightmares like I did. I had two nightmares last night where I was screaming. I heard it. Yeah, I think <laughs> you could uh, stop filling your head with that stuff. I think you should do one day of friends. Okay, maybe just a full day. Maybe tomorrow. I want to see how that affects you. Because I can't keep doing this. I can't keep living like this, having these nightmares every night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you need to be going to sleep thinking about Ross and Rachel <laughs> and what's going to happen with them. And not people overheating on fake ecstasy. Exactly. That's what Erica said. She's like, are you reading that stuff? Are you still reading that stuff? Should you be doing that before you go to sleep at night? And then literally <laughs> the last night, and I'm thinking to myself, what are you talking about? Yeah, I'm reading this shit. I love reading this shit. <laughs> and I then I have to read this shit. Yeah, I love it. And then I have two screaming nightmares. Whatever. I'm going to keep on having nightmares. I don't care anymore. They don't even really scare me anymore. I'm kidding. <laughs> Would you say now that? Now I'm going to cause, yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> somebody somebody else going to give me nightmares now. I shouldn't have said that out loud. I'm not even kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Sometimes when we're not being very funny, Grant, we can hear Grant crawling around up there. <laughs> yeah. He gets What's bored. he doing? He gets bored. Do something up there? Oh. He goes in the air ducts. Yeah, like five minutes ago, <laughs> yeah. were you up there? <laughs> And I was like, oh, we got to change the subject. Yeah, because if it's not very funny, I can hear him scurrying yep. around up there. <laughs> like the, with the little tennis ball or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is horribly. And then it doesn't help us, try me trying to be funny at yeah. all when I hear his fucking ass up there. Oh, it's distracting. Very distracting. Yeah. I've been distracted this whole time. Too. Really? Yeah. Is that why you left? That's what, Yeah, I was going to just leave, <laughs> but you called me out on it, so I came back. Well, thank you for coming back. Yeah, I apologize. I mean, Grant can be really nice at times, but other times just kind of like a live wire. Yeah. I know. It's my first impression of him. Just kind of live wire? Yeah. Yeah, it's canon. Yeah. His mind is a labyrinth. Unhinged? Yeah, I mean, don't ask him. Don't start asking him questions. Okay. Don't ask him questions. Oh, he can hear us? Oh, (laughs) Oh, no. fuck. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Don't even think about starting to ask him questions. Okay. I wouldn't, even if I dared... Yeah, because sometimes you don't even answer him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he'll just give you one of those classic Grant looks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, hey, what's the temperature out there today, Grant? I asked- and then he just gives us that look, and it's like, D- we just ask you what the temperature was outside. Oh, when I got here, I asked, yeah, mm-hmm. here, you be him. And I said, yeah. uh, um, where's the bathroom? Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> yeah, can you believe that? <laughs> it was really weird. <laughs> yeah, it's totally inappropriate. <laughs> just simple questions like that. And then I got to go on camera. Like, yeah. I'm just visiting here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what did I do wrong? Yeah. Yeah, I'm really out of my element already. Well, sorry. <laughs> I really have to go to the bathroom. I never found it. Did you really yeah. not? I just walked up through the hallway for a while and then came back. I have I haven't been to the bathroom yet here. I don't know where it is. It's no. back there somewhere. It takes a while. <laughs> <laughs> is it nicer than the last bathroom? It's pretty clean. It's pretty immaculate. But again, finding it is sort of a yeah. something else. And don't even think about asking Grant. Mm, yeah, I'll yeah. give you one of those classic Grant looks. Yeah. <laughs> don't do it. Okay. Because I'm going to have to go to the bathroom after that. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you had three drinks. Or no, just two. Three. Yeah, just two. No, this is one, two, and then I have still have the third one open. How big do you think your bladder is? I've totally stretched it. <laughs> I believe it. That's what it's I'm asking. Stretched. Yeah, it's stretched. But how big? Basketball, do you think? like basketball? a small basketball. <laughs> you can't have a chicken. Like or like, like a mini hoop one. Yeah, like a mini hoop one. <laughs> That's a different ball at that point. <laughs> it's like a small, like a kid's basketball. <laughs> okay, that's huge, right? How big is kids an average basketball. bladder? Probably no bigger than a quarter or a, or a peanut stack. Yeah, are that's they? Too small, that stack of peanuts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you guys stack of peanuts. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think normally, like what, like a medium sized sack of peanuts. Yeah, like a planter's, like a ninety nine yes, cent planter's, like a planter's. Yeah. No, mine's bigger than that, but I'm like the Goldilocks of the bladders. Here. What size is yours? Yours is too big, <laughs> and yours is too small, <laughs> and mine's right in the middle. So what is that like a? Youth soccer ball. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> only measure in sports. Yeah, equipment. Um, but yeah, it's probably a basketball. Basketball. I do have a top three list here from Casey. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Well, jet ski, this time of year, as we look to each other and we look around and we give thanks for all the things we've been blessed with around America's birthday and Labor Day. <laughs> yep. Yep. We tend to look around and we go, where are the most dangerous criminals in the world? And how are we going to catch them? <laughs> so with that in mind, <laughs> here's the, t- the top three most dangerous criminals, almost too sinister to even catch. Who and how. Who and how. It is perfect for Labor Day. It is perfect for Labor Day. Which so, is America's birthday. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It uh, was uh, when America went to work. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. and we celebrate that here because we love work. Yep. Put your boots on, please. Wait, it's just <laughs> us, though. <laughs> Are we the three? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Book them, boys. Oh, no. The long con. I once had a... <laughs> yeah, it's just us. Yeah. <laughs> I once had somebody in the Austin comedy scene. Uh, I won't say who it is, but he thought... Um, he thought... Right? Yeah, my bandage somehow fell off. He thought that... Uh, Still good. This is trash. Okay. okay, it feels wrong putting Where'd the in. Band-Aid come from? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it fell off my thumb. Oh, oh. But this guy told me in the Austin comedy scene, one day he goes, hey, man, I just want to let you know that I know some of you guys are, like, working with the feds. And uh, he's being completely serious. I think oh, he's yeah, having yeah. some sort of mental problem. And uh, And I was like, my first thought was, like, why would we still go up? Like, why would we keep doing comedy? Like, why yeah. would that be part of the con? Right. Would be to do open mics, like, to what end? Yeah. Anyways. Did to blend in. Him? No, he was, every word I said, I just dug the hole deeper. I could see, I could see he was like, yeah, mm-hmm. I thought you'd say something like that. Yeah. <laughs> do you like, ever <laughs> see the guy still? Yeah, I see him all the time. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll tell you who it is after. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's Re- Brian Redman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, Red Band always slips me notes like, meet me at the docks at 1030. <laughs> I have some pertinent information for your case. <laughs> so I have to keep it up. Detective Red Band. <laughs> <laughs> okay. These are the, some of the most dangerous fucks I've come across in all my travels. Okay. Again, these are the most dangerous criminals, almost too sinister to catch. Number one, Tony Dorsal. Whoa. A.K.A. The Bishop. <laughs> so, born, <laughs> born into the Bardugas crime family, <laughs> Tony Dorsal was raised by an impotent father who taught him to believe that the best things in life were scream. And <laughs> he, he ran an underground racketeering business for the for the Archbishop of the Diocese, Damn. where card where loan sharking was a way of life. Crazy. <laughs> where what? Loan sharking was a way oh, of oh. life. If a if a wait one more <laughs> one more time <laughs> loan, <laughs> loan sharking was a was a powerful tool where what a punch couldn't do a golf club surely could what he didn't do in intimidation he got by sheer brute force and God. um th- the smile he was voted Teen Weekly Smile of the Year and also um, Punch Daily's biggest of the month. So he did <laughs> one of the biggest punches of last year. He punched this cashier and he shattered his arms and legs. And he's been on the run from the Topeka, Wichita, Kansas Police Department ever since. Is he still associated with the uh, archdiocese? Yeah, he still has ties. Well, this is what they tell you when they do America's Most Wanted. Where is he tied to? I'm glad you asked. Boat Yacht Club. Boat Yacht Club. Yeah, Boston. The Bardigas crime family. The Archdiocese. Catherine Keener. Catherine's involved? Yeah, from 40-Year-Old Virgin. (laughs) She's great. The actress. Yeah, that's what I... I think I know who that is. She's great. She's in Capote, too. Yeah. But she's associated with... She's associated with this dirtbag. She's been running with this bitch-ass crowd lately that is honestly totally unbecoming of her. So he's going around punching people. He's just kind of rocking people's shit. Yeah. He doesn't really... Like, he used a golf club once, and then his friend said he was, like, upset for, like, a week. So he's just been using his hands. Who? He was upset or the friend was upset? The friend said that he saw Tony Dorsal, like, clearly distraught. Like, I hit him too hard. That's bad. That'll happen. Damn. A life of regret. If we could help you, Tony, if you're watching, we would do anything to get you the help you need. You're our bishop. Yeah, Tony, come by the studio if you can. Grant's here. We can help you. 
Number two. Oh. <laughs> Tony was last seen in 2012 at the Abuela Festival at Six Flags Orlando. Ooh. That sounds like fun. <laughs> that sounds like the lines would move so slow. Yeah. Not a good day to be at the Six Flags. I don't Flags. think it's a good day. <laughs> All Abuelas. Abuelas getting free. <laughs> So it's, what six flags was it? Orlando. Orlando six flags. None of them would do the rides, though. they just take pictures of you from the bottom. Oh, yeah. The cool. benches, you could not find a bench. No, yeah. no benches. Yeah, no benches. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to mess up their back or their neck. I mean, a, a boiler can't get on a roller coaster. Not, not going on chance. Superman. No, not a chance. <laughs> number two. And number two might shock you. Madam Gilchrist. Mm. <gasps> <laughs> this is oh, man. <laughs> scared yet? <laughs> I've been scared. <laughs> <laughs> this serial poisoner was known to use a bottle of trash as her weapon. Born in <laughs> Yikes. Born in East Madison's notorious Valley of Frowns. <laughs> Madam <East> Gilchrist. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gilchrist claimed 13 victims in one hour by posing as a census taker, giving out free samples of wet bread. That's how they get you. Is that like a dessert? Yeah, wet bread. Yeah. Like it's a Madison delicacy. Cake. In other words, okay. like cake. Yeah. Right? Like tres leches, but just water. Wet bread. Yeah. 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 Weird. Yeah, so it's like it's tres like, aguas. Uno, uno. Yeah. Uno aguas. Aqua. Yeah. <laughs> uno aguas. Super wet bread. And then they put a packet of Pedialyte on top. <laughs> Not Pedialyte. It's good for a hangover, but it doesn't yeah. taste yeah. very good. They put a cap full of Pedialyte. It doesn't. It's more of a yeah, placebo, but. Yeah, this twisted woman you wouldn't exactly <laughs> want to come across in an alleyway or a farmer's cook off. This lady, this little lady was unlucky enough to be born in the Valley of Frowns, as discussed, which is notorious for producing poisoners. She yeah. claimed 13 victims, and word is, she's still looking for her next. Oh, my God. And 13's already, a, that's, a, that's a, a crazy number. number. That was in one hour just by giving out wet bread. I will say she does look really happy. She looked great. Yeah. Uh, the Valley of Frowns. Yeah. And well, she's doing what she loves now. Yeah. So. That could have been at the Abuela Festival. I wonder if she was at the Abuela Festival. That's where she was last spotted. She okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think would win in a fight between Tony and Gilchrist? That's an interesting question. I, yeah, this is one of those classic, like, you know, who would win, like, Cleopatra or Leonidas? Like, yes. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> These cool showdown questions, like you see. I think Gilchrist would take it. The bishop, he's all arms, and she's got a... She's got the wit. She's got the wit up top. She could Did you just queue up the third one? I'm sorry. What did you say to me? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> he was How do you just guys... crawling around up there, and <laughs> now he's talking it. about... <laughs> what, Brad? <laughs> did you say the third one? Was no. I supposed to put him up? <laughs> no. How okay. did he get back there so fast? <laughs> no. He was literally just crawling I'm around so sorry. up there. There's Ignore one me. thing about Grant. He's fast. <laughs> <laughs> he kept doing a yo-yo from the ceiling. I yeah, kept I kept on it. hitting, yeah. <laughs> well, you can load it up now. Number three, Madam, Madam Gilchrist was last seen at 2019, the, the Abuela Festival. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the last seems to be one. a thread here. <laughs> There's very little information known about this last criminal, but he's one of the worst that's ever been yet to be captured, ever. Number three, Terry Lust. Terry, <laughs> wow. Terry Lust. Wow. Also wow. known as the porn king of Topeka. Was one of the... Uh, that's where I've heard of him, yeah. That's You might know him. <laughs> yeah, I did. I think I've heard of him. He was a hit on E-Bomb's World. But... <laughs> <laughs> he was, uh, grew up to be something a little less spectacular. Mean. That's horrible. <laughs> E-Bomb's World was really big at one point. Yeah, he was. He was big. at the top. It was like him, Ding Fries Are Done, <laughs> the Star Wars rap. Yeah, there's some cool shit Star on Star Wars Kid, remember him? Mm -hmm. He was doing the oh, thing, yeah. and they did it like he had lightsabers. In the that garage. was a classic, yeah. yeah. So that's actually where Terry Lust comes into play. He trapped the Star Wars Kid in a bus filled with <laughs> terminal fish. A Star Wars Kid? A Star Wars Kid. Why would he do uh. that? He gassed the bus driver and made him fall asleep like the Riddler. What? And then when he woke up, it was like a saw trap. 
but the, the, every seat was filled with a terminal fish, and the bus was full of water so the fish could breathe. How could he breathe? He had a gas mask. Gas mask. <laughs> Gosh. <yeah. laughs> like the Riddler. What are, what's going on, Grant? What do you literally see up there? Is something <laughs> literally up, up there? there. <laughs> There's a big rat. Does, oh, no. I don't think we are good. Yeah, that guy looked weird. He's like, yeah, it's really big. Something. And he pointed, I swear to God, he pointed to the ceiling and said, it's really big. I think he pointed down to the... Everything's fine. Uh, he was talking fine. about this. He is saying he's got a big dick. Oh. <laughs> I wonder what that guy's pubes look like. Pretty big. I wonder what he's working Pretty, with. pretty big pubes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Back to the gasser. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the mad gasser, Terry Lust. He was last seen in a Jacksonville Jaguars game in 2023, last week. He Last hasn't. Week. He hasn't been wanted for too long. He didn't really do anything that bad. But what? Well, the bus. The gas. He the gassed gas. and flooded a. He uh, gassed and flooded a bus and kidnapped a Star Wars kid. And, and all those terminal fish. And all the terminal fish and all the porn king stuff that he did. Oh yeah. He <laughs> would draw that. nudes for anyone who would ask. Really? Shut yeah. up. And and you could. It was basically as big as you wanted. Yeah. It was he pretty good at it? Because sometimes people draw those naked pictures like really good. Yeah. So it does look like an actual person. You do them with charcoal. You yeah, like a him, charcoal. Man. Yeah. So Terry's good at that. It's, maybe that's why he didn't get in so much trouble because he's just probably, so high up in that world. Yeah. He probably drew his way out of it. Yep. Yeah, they go to his jail cell and it's just covered in beautiful <laughs> naked ladies. They're like, you have to get out of here. You have something to give the world. <laughs> Get out of here. Sneak him out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to sneak you out tonight. <laughs> Be gone, sweet child. <laughs> Too pure for this world. Yeah, anyways, he's getting a little older, so we're worried about his mental health but and physical well-being. But if caught, he's facing 25 to life. Life and worth. So maybe keep him in your thoughts and prayers, though. We need him better. And also, Erica, who was the person last night? Casey, we found the scariest person on TikTok last night. Aaron Phillips. After this, I'll Aaron, show you. It. Aaron, but it was E R I N, like a girl. Patrick Griffin. It was the scariest thing. Maybe what? that's why I was having nightmares last night. I swear to God, it was the scariest thing I've seen in a Some long time. Some drunk guy. He His was going crazy. TikToks him screaming in the street, but he also has a TikTok mumbling about who knows what. I almost can't tell if it's an elaborate joke, but I don't think no, it is. the neighbors couldn't be. It's like almost like a genius, funny, elaborate joke, but yeah. it's, I don't Just think Just outside of his house all the time screaming about who knows what. And his but legs it's like are poetic, too. Yeah. In an insane person way. <laughs> you put money down? Yeah, I put money down when I watch it. Oh, you watch only on TikTok, but could you find where he lives and go... It's Does in it El alive? Paso, or no, it's in Fort <laughs> Worth. Put some money at his feet. Yeah, <laughs> Fort Worth. Well, his feet are all red, so everybody says he's dying of alcohol. His legs are all hard, They're this like deep red color. Colors. They're like purple, red, and then white. And he always has Whoa. chewing, he'll have chewing tobacco coming out of his mouth like the penguin. It's like this black shit coming out of his mouth. It's the scariest oh, thing. Oh, you're going to give me nightmares. <laughs> I'm Maybe. having trouble picturing this guy. Yeah, I'll, I'll just have to see him. Uh, if it's anything like the bishop, I don't want to cross paths with yeah, this loser. Yeah, for sure. So what, if you see any of these people, tell the authorities or shoot on sight, shoot yeah. on sight, okay. shoot on sight. <laughs> okay. Execute at will, shoot on sight or capture for the reward. Okay. $500 each. Ooh. Each. Each. So that's 1500 bucks if 1, you can find all of them. So they're happy to be hanging out. I don't leave till tomorrow morning. So. You look for them yeah. later. Uh, I'm down. Yeah, they might be in Austin. Fly to Orlando, go to the Abuela Festival. <laughs> <laughs> it's this weekend. Isn't it's it? this weekend. Yeah, that's Abuela's day. That's <laughs> Abuela's month in Orlando. <laughs> okay, well, Casey, thank you so much for the top three. Thank you. Scary as always, very informative. Thanks. Yeah, just trying to help you guys and keep everybody safe. Thank you. And Jesse, thank you so much for being on our podcast today. Thanks for having me. It was really fun. Thank you. And Nick and Fanny, it was very fun for y'all to be here. I was on edge the entire time. I mean, Nick's been <laughs> yawning the whole time. I've been trying not to look over there. It's been totally throwing my ass off the entire time. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, it was so nice. And hold on, Erica, do we have... Uh, do, what do we have? Didn't we have something? 
Whoa. Oh my gosh, you're in for a very big surprise. Get treat. Delicious. Sour treat. Patch Kids zombies. Whoa. Just for you. Yum. These are for me? We yeah, oh my gosh. You guys are so sweet. Shopping. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, we went shopping. I will cherish these forever. No, eat them. Eat them, though. Uh, no, I want to keep them for you. Them for <laughs> I want to frame it. will turn it to a collector's item. I'm going to frame it. Years. Cool. <laughs> Get ants. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for being on the podcast today. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737 471 1098. Never miss an episode of the William Montgomery Show by subscribing to the William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at iBrettMyPants. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.